This video is for sailing and entertainment purposes only. Don't get people who judge go as goral. <laughs> Attention people, do you use Beezer spray? Is the Beezer spray being yeah, sold I, online? I, 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 Guys, do you know Foodie Beauty? Excuse me, have you been watching Amberlynn Reed? Why are you walking away so fast? You're walking in uniform. I ain't scared of no ghost. Monsters, 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 monsters. Hello everybody, it's me. Okay, I'm not a Kermit yet, but I'm still trying. For Kermit content, go to my shorts. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Anne Boleyn being called out by somebody that used to know her. Is that this video and this story, in my opinion, is a slow burn. And I've said before that a lot of dramas with Amberlynn is a slow burn. What that means in this case is I think you have to stick with it. You have to just let me explain to you my opinion. You got to stick with me here to understand what happened. Now, full disclosure, few disclaimers. There was a person they came out and said that they knew Anne Boleyn when she was younger and she was basically lying about everything. Isn't this a surprise? Not a surprise. Anne Boleyn has monetized content in the past stating that she is a habitual liar and uh, she gets caught lying all the time. The thing is, in this story, I think this is what happened. As soon as I heard this, this is what I think happened, my opinion. I think that Amber Lynn lied very broadly and lied a lot more in a much more grandiose way when she first started YouTube. This story is about the lies that she told when she first started YouTube. The issue is, is that I think that now she lies about things that are still stupid, but not things that people could come out and disprove. When she first started YouTube, she didn't think she was going to be famous on YouTube. She didn't know the way that YouTube would work. She didn't know how YouTube worked, where people can come out and like expose you. She didn't think about that. She didn't have any viewers. She didn't get views for years. And she just lied really indiscriminately, lied very broadly. What I mean by that is she lied about a lot of stuff. Because again, who would be able to prove that she wasn't being honest? Nowadays, when you look at her lies, it's more so about personalized lies about what she's doing now or like who her wifey is things that people can't come out and disprove from the past this lie that she told when she first started youtube there were many times where she told the story and whether it was true or not i don't know but other people will make videos and say hey this is my side of it so this is not anything surprising as soon as this happened i knew two things. This is a slow burn. You have to hear both stories out and see. You can make up your own mind who's lying and who's telling the truth. And it's, it's, it's an interesting story where there's many things involved. And at the same time, uh, I'm basing my opinions, this video is opinion based, with some actual facts that Amber Lynn put out herself. So you make up your own mind about who's lying, who's telling the truth. But also, I know for, for sure, because I've seen it, Amber Lynn lied very, very, very wildly, much more wilder than she lies now before, because it was about her past. She didn't, she didn't understand how YouTube worked. People could come out and make videos and rebuttals and do all that stuff. She didn't understand that in the past. So she just said whatever. I will tell you this. My opinion is that Amber is lying about a part of the story. I don't care which part. I'm basing it not just on the fact that I'm breathing and can tell and her obvious history of documenting that she is a well-known, you know, deceiver. But I just want to tell you something before we get started. Amber Lynn's ex-girlfriend, Becky, has a live stream. Even if you don't believe anything I say and even if you believe that Amber is always telling the truth, Becky did a live stream with Amber in which she said that Amber is a manipulator. That's what she said about her. And she said that Amber makes up entire stories and tells those stories like two people, things that never happened. Becky said that Amber makes up things that never happened. That live stream, I believe it's called Five Minutes. I'll try to link it down below. You can watch it. I'm going to use some screenshots from Apathetic Facts' videos, and the receipts are from Mr. Snowflake's community page, as well as from Apathetic Facts' community page. 100% lying about a part of the story, and I can actually prove that, okay? So, we're going to get into it. 
As always, all of my videos are for entertainment purposes only. Please do not take this video seriously. It's just for entertainment purposes only. I am sharing opinions, not facts, about public figures. Whether they're choosing to make public on the internet. I'm never comparing their stories to yours, just commenting on their individual dramas. I would urge you to be kind in the comment section if you can to these people. Please do not leave them mean-spirited, negative, discouraging, disparaging comments. All right, this is a slow burn. Let's start at the beginning. Amber first started YouTube, she did a video in which she gets asked, what's a fact about you that no one would ever guess? She looks visibly upset because she's coming up with nothing. And she says, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to like stop my video. This is really, really important. I'm gonna have to like stop my video and think about it. And then she comes back. Okay, just that in and of alone. I have seen many videos like this on YouTube where people get asked, what's a fact about you that no one would ever guess? No one looks visibly scared, upset, and like stopped in their tracks pretty much because they can't think of something because she knew that there was nothing going on in my opinion that people wouldn't guess about her so she made it up that like you have to see this i can't play her clips i refuse to play her clips she goes after creators who play her clips but apathetic facts i'm gonna link their channel down below and uh you know you can see her do this but i'm showing you the screenshots right now she basically, in my opinion, the vibe I got from that, the feeling I got from that was that she had nothing. She didn't know of any facts that people would know about her. So the feeling I get from that, because she looks very disturbed in the video that she doesn't know what to say. So she made it up. She created a story. I think that a part of the story is true, but she created a wild story that's blatantly, obviously not true. And that's when she comes back to the video. So just the idea that she doesn't know a fact that other people wouldn't know about her, or wouldn't guess about her, and she leaves the video and comes back when she creates a story. She comes back with a better story that she lied, created, made up. That says it all to me because I've never seen any creator when they're doing videos like that literally leave the video, but that's what she does. Okay. She then says that she was in a dance group called Space. She says that she choreographed a bunch of dances. And lies, lies, lies. And she choreographed a bunch of dances for other people. And they won awards. And she won so many talent shows with every single one. Literally says every single, you know, dance I choreographed for myself and for other people. We immediately won the talent shows. I just wanted to say whether she was in this group or not, I just have to say this. This is probability mathematically wise impossible it is impossible that one person no matter how amazing they are at dance every single thing they choreograph they win it's impossible mathematically there are amazing choreographers out there and there's amazing people that do that but to win every single time that you choreograph something for somebody is mathematically impossible at some point somebody else wins that's how if it wasn't already blatantly clear that the story isn't true that's how you know it's the feeling of it is obviously a lie i don't believe that amber was a choreographer she never how come she never talked about it again Okay. It's obvious that she wasn't a choreographer simply because, um, she doesn't even talk about it. And it's just, it, you know, when you, and this has nothing, and I want to make it clear, it has nothing to do with anything that could be malicious or mean spirited at all. No, this isn't about anything that people may, you know, create a story about. This is about your personality. And we know that you're prone to lying. It feels like a lie because it is. That's what I have to say. I can only come to this with my personal experience of knowing how she behaves on the internet. Uh, she leaves. She doesn't know the full story. She then says outrageous facts. These are manipulation tactics. People that make up grandiose lies will often give pieces to the story that clearly can't be true. They're outrageous. It's like a kid lying saying that they were chased by an elephant down the street while a cop was filming them. You know how kids come up with grandiose lies. This is a grandiose lie. There is no way, even if she was a choreographer, that she choreographed talent show and dances that won prizes every single time. Somebody else would have been better and won at least at some point, right? So she tells this story. She literally says all these things. And then the other night, somebody <laughs> says this about Anne Boleyn. Here's the big expose, all right? And you take this for what it's worth. You 
can believe it. You could not believe it. Not saying they're hundred percent true. Not saying they're not hundred percent true. Do I believe this person? Yes. Be, and I'm going to tell you why you will see how many details they have. I think this person is telling the truth. They have way too many details. When a person has way too many, very clear details, it sounds like they're telling the truth from someone who would like to remain anonymous. I just felt I needed to speak on this because the lies and bragging she was saying is ridiculous. I honestly haven't even thought of Amber in decades at this point, but for some reason, a video by the channel of Hoopa Tales came up called Dancer Lynn. I immediately recognized her. And so I clicked and I watched it. I'm mind blown over what she said. And I'm so confused because she was never a dancer, at least for space. Isn't this a surprise? Let's get some facts out of the way. Space was not a dance group, but a company and education center located in California. There were many groups from various ages within space. Amber was never on an official team. And the only reason we interacted was because she was involved with volunteering and would come to our competitions and pass out water and cheer for us from the side. That's not lying. That's changing my mind. Let's not forget that she literally said that she choreographed <laughs> dances uh, for other people. They won the talent shows every single time and she won every single time. This person says she wasn't doing that. She was passing out water. Remember when I said that Amber created a story based of a situation that had already happened? So basically, if she was asked on that YouTube video, what's a fact about you? that nobody would ever know. She's not going to say I passed out water at a talent show, right? She would say, I choreographed every dance and we won every time. Just remember, physically, mathematically impossible to win every single time. At some point, somebody else would win. The mathematical probability, that's how, that's how you know it's a lie. Girl, you a lie. That's how you know. Mathematical probability of winning a dance show every single time is impossible. If you haven't guessed, she never choreographed any dances for my group for space. And she, this, this one, listen, this is important for my group or space for my group or space. Amber responded to this. We're going to look at her answers. The reason that this is a very important part in this person's story is because Amber will use this to her advantage to manipulate, in my opinion, as her answer, because one of her answers is that's right. I never did it for space. I wasn't doing choreography for space. Then why did you say that you were in that group? You understand she could never go back. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. Amberlynn could never go back and change her answers from before, but she can use this person's expose on her to her advantage. She's getting her excuses from this person's story. It's a n no longer, that is no longer a rudimentary manipulation tactic. Amber's going higher now. You'll see Amber's answer. She will use this person's story to Amber's own advantage and say, that's right. I never did it for space. I did it for other companies. If this person was just trying to come for Amber, they would just say, no, she's a liar. She's this, she's that. No, they are recounting their experience with her and in their experience she did not tell the truth about what they themselves observed space was very supportive of foster kids and underprivileged children and would invite them to be a part of dance groups i remember amber so well because blank who was our instructor at the time tried to include her and get her to join groups but amber would often throw tantrums and sit on the sidelines crying that sounds like amber i tried not to judge but it was hard not to when her temperament wasn't on the same level as us in the 9 to 12 age range groups space was an incredible company i don't want any blank towards them because you know, basically they're trying to say, don't go real life. Do not reach out to them. They were a great company. They still are. Uh, basically, I think this is true for obvious reasons, not just everything I've said, but Amber recently threw a tantrum, two tantrums. One was because they told her she couldn't get WLS until she showed progress for over a year. And the second public tantrum that she threw was because somebody sent her a hundred dollars worth of worth of cake and bread. My point here is this, this person is recounting Amber in her younger years, doing exactly what she's doing in her YouTube channel now. She still throws tantrums, okay? So that's why I think this person is telling the truth because they could have invented literally any story they choose to, but they decided to like just recount their story. Here is Amber's first answer. Have you seen the Reddit post that disproves your story about space choreographing? No, and I didn't choreograph for space. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a dance group I was in, which was separate from the choreographic dances I did for talent shows, which both things are true. You can't disprove something that has zero proof and only written by biased people who are obviously searching for drama to create surrounding me since I'm less problematic now. I don't remember much from my past. See, this kind of allows her that way in like, well, if I did lie, I don't remember. But I do have some memories that bring me joy and dance is one of them. The first thing I'd like to say about this statement is you're less problematic now. You're less problematic now. You have literally just created a giant scandal about somebody sending you bread and cake. You told them to go to H-E-L-L with a former president and you're less problematic. You're still yourself. The number one thing that I want to tell you, that is my opinion, and I think that this is really important, is when a person says you can't disprove something that has zero proof, she basically, whenever she gets called out on her lying, from what I've seen, I've been watching Anne Boleyn since she really became a YouTube internet sensation, and now Anne Boleyn got a Kermit, so you know she's legit, okay? So... Uh, honestly, Amberlynn, whenever you say you can't disprove this, this has zero proof, where's your proof? It's obvious, girl, you a lie. You a lie. Girl, you lying, okay? Because, you know, when someone accuses you of something outrageous, I think you shouldn't respond. But if you do respond, the number one way to pretty much show your cards and have the mask slip and pretty much let everybody know that, girl, you've been lying, is saying, well, you don't have any proof. You can't prove it. There's zero proof for this. Because she knows that if the proof could be found, it would prove that she's lying. If somebody accuses me of something outrageous, I would never say, you don't have any proof of this. I would say, if I really was, like I told you earlier, I would never respond to ridiculous lies. But if I did, it would never be like, you have no proof. It would be like, I didn't do this. This is a blatant lie. She's lying. That's it. You know what I mean? The fact it's in the words, people that are manipulating you always want to give extra information, which we will see. Amberlynn responded to this numerous times and she started giving extra, extra info. When a manipulator can no longer control you and can no longer lie to you in the way that they did before, or when their story is up, when the lie is up, they now give extra details to muddy the waters. This is a very rudimentary manipulation tactic. We talked about this before. I've seen it many, many times. The reason that I could, you know, some of you say, oh, I know our girl really well, and it's not just just because I've been watching from the beginning, just for entertainment when I was doing other videos, not about her. It's because I've also known people like Amberlynn. I've met people like Amberlynn. And I know their antics. I know every single thing that a manipulator or a person that's trying to deceive you could do. I'm going to say something to you. If you get nothing out of this video, remember this. When a person is trying to deceive you, they're doing it on purpose. They already know the truth. They know what the truth is. She knows she didn't win every single talent competition that she was in because it's mathematically impossible. Uh, listen, I will give her this. I want to be clear in my video. I believe that it's possible that she did dance. Sure, why not? I believe that it's possible that she had a connection to these people and she danced, but there is no way that she was a choreographer that won every single talent show that she did. That just seems impossible for any person, if I said that to you, it would sound like a lie. Forget Amber. I always do this to show you, to humanize the experience and to show you that it's not her individuality and individual. It's not, it's not her. It's just the ideas, the stories that she's telling you is obviously a blatant lie. If Karina Kaboom with her Kermits, if I came on here and I said, guys, I choreographed numerous talent shows and I won every single one that I was in, I'm sure even my core audience that does support my content that thinks I'm dumb and silly and listens for entertainment would say, Karina, there is no way, honey, that you won every single talent competition. And you'd be right. Because it's impossible. The mathematical probability, I'll keep repeating it throughout this video, mathematical probability of you winning every single one, no way. I think this is what's going on. I think that she may have danced, but everything else she said isn't true. Okay. You can't disprove something that has zero proof and only written by biased people who are obviously searching for online drama, okay? I don't remember much from my past, okay? See, she's going to start talking about this. She's going to start giving you details that are irrelevant. You see how she threw that in there, in there? You know, I'll tell you something. A lot of her tactics are very rudimentary for people that have been gaslit before and know all the gaslighting techniques. Gaslighting, although overused on the YouTubes and although overused on the internet, is a way to manipulate a person to make you think 
think that you didn't understand what happened and to question your sanity and to question what you know is true. That's her. That's how I'm able to read all through her BS because I've seen people like this. I've met people like this. I know what it's all about. Everybody has the same tactic. Make you think that you didn't understand. Isn't it convenient? How convenient. We need the repeating guy. Listen, seriously, I can't find the repeating guy. All right, I found him. He's back. Uh, How convenient that she immediately has an answer ready. Oh, I didn't choreograph for space. Why'd you say that you danced with them? Okay. Uh, why? Th- then she says how convenient you don't have any proof. Two things could be true at the same time. Let me tell you something. I've met people before who say stuff like that. Oh, two things are both true. You know why they're trying to tell you the two things are uh, true at the same time? Because they're trying to give different details. She has an answer ready for everything. Amber, I think you're lying about the core of your story. Did you see Mr. Snowflake's community post on YouTube about not being a dancer? I just went and looked. Ha 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 ha. I am literally shook this person thinks they know me and that people are believing an anonymous liar. Why? People believe you and you're a non-anonymous liar. Lies, lies, lies. By the way, I I just want to be clear. I don't think this person is lying. I think this person is recounting exactly what they remember to be true. I think this person has a bunch of details. I've had to take out names. There's no way. You passed out water. You didn't dance. Girl, bye, okay? It's so easy to become anonymous and create a whole lie written in only a few paragraphs. Thank you, choreograph, writer, poet, laureate. Like, what does it matter how many paragraphs the person wrote it in? Do they need to start a dissertation on Anne Boleyn, the choreographer that never was? (laughs) The drama of my wild escapades. Uh, But it takes talent for people to actually believe it. So to those who believe it, my hat's off to you because I could never be so gullible just for drama, ha, ha, ha. It's just funny anytime someone knows some tea about you, they're anonymous source. LMFAO ain't that the truth. I want to talk about this. So what I've seen being in the Amberverse for years is people are not happy that the people that used to date Amberlynn, like Destiny and Becky, and people who used to be friends with her, like Eric and Ricky, never expose her. And the lore of Amberlynn, what always is like underneath in the community is this idea of, well, Amberlynn has things on people. Amberlynn recorded everything. She recorded hours worth of footage. She has things on people and that's why people don't expose her. I don't think that that's the only reason that people don't expose her. For example, Becky went through a lot with Amberlynn. Leave her alone with that, you know, but, but I think there's reasons. I think there's reasons that I don't think, listen, <laughs> the rumors are true. You know, sometimes the simplest answer is the truth. Sometimes this, remember this, sometimes the simplest answer is the truth. There has to be a reason why not a single person exposed her. There has to be. Okay. And of course a person wants to remain anonymous because we all know what happened to apathetic faxes channel. When you started going after apathetic faxes channel, if you don't know, the person started being docs. Of course that has nothing to do with them having to give their first legal and last legal name to Anne Boleyn when fighting the copyright strikes. Anne Boleyn, I've got to tell you something. Um, I've seen people like you before in my life. I know all of the antics that you could ever come up with. Ever wonder why Amber doesn't react to me because instead of focusing on superficial dumb shi that nobody cares about i talk about your actions and your actions is something that you can't escape everything else for amber she calls people you know you know what she likes to call people but this is your actions these are your actions okay so of course the person will remain anonymous what do you expect but they said you didn't even dance for space and you just handed out water i'm confused they're lying doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that amberlynn You handing out water is an incredibly specific detail, just like the name of the supervisor that I took out, just like you throwing tantrums on the sidelines. Anyways, the repeating guy is the true star of the show other than the Kermit. Okay. So basically, uh, are you going to address the space situation in future video? No, you dumb. Uh, Then we have this. Oh God. Okay. I just want to show you how many screenshots do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's more that I can't even fit into this video. Eight times Anne Boleyn addressed it. Eight times. It's too petty to address in a video, everybody, but she's addressing it eight times. Okay. 
My dad and my mom, I was able to invite them to a couple of my performances, used to have photos, but they got lost along the years. Only proof I have is the people from the group home I was living in, which would just be through messages of them confirming we were dancers for a bit. But I don't care enough about this because the rumor is so unbelievable that I'm just laughing at it. If you really, truly, this is my opinion, did not care about it, you would not address it eight times on Instagram stories. Also, like I said, she may have danced, but the entire story is untrue. OK, uh, a lot of the times what I've noticed is this is just my opinion and it doesn't even have to be about Amber, but this fits with her 100 percent. A lot of the times a person that's trying to deceive you and manipulate you will take a situation that truly happened. For example, th they don't want to date you. That's the truth. And they'll say something to you like, hey, I was sick and that's why I canceled the date or something like that. I'm just making stuff up, okay? To give you an example. And then you'll see them posting all over Facebook and Twitter that they're in a club or something like that, right? Well, what will happen in those type of scenarios is that you'll call them out on it and they'll be like, but I genuinely was sick, but I also wanted to go to a club or I also wanted to, right? There's always some type of an excuse for a person that's trying to deceive you. What I'm trying to say is... Uh -huh. Why you? There's no way you're a choreographer that won the talent shows every single time. Come on. Uh, you're laughing at it. You don't care. Uh, but you're addressing it eight times. Let's address it one more time. If they're lying, how did they know you were in space? It's very specific. Because I've mentioned it multiple times on social media, LMAO, but they have so much information about it wrong, they're lying and it's creepy. It's really creepy that you continue to monetize content titled, I lied, I'm sorry, admit to numerous lies and then accuse others of lying, okay? Come on, Amber. You said you wouldn't address the space thing, but why answer questions about it then? Eight questions that I'm including here. There's more. I just can't. We're not going to have a two-hour video. Oh, I'm done with answering questions about it now. Spoiler alert, she wasn't. I just figured I clarified this anonymous person. Okay, so she's saying that this person is not telling the truth and they're creating a lie and all this other stuff. I'm going to say this. I really genuinely hope that that person that she's accusing of being a liar hears this and fully exposes her. Amber, here's the real tea. You had no idea what you were getting yourself into when you started YouTube, so you continuously lied about things from your past. You would tell a story that may have happened a certain way and then add details that never happened. It's a true trait of somebody who's trying to deceive you or manipulate you. Let's say you're going somewhere and somebody says, oh, I would love for you to meet, I don't know, the owner of this gym. Let's say two people are going to work out and they're like, hey, you know, the owner of this gym is my is one of my good friends. I just want you to meet the owner of the gym. And you go to the gym and it becomes clear that that guy is not, this is just an example, a guy is not friends with that person that you said they're friends with. They're not friends at all. They barely know them. Why would a person give extra details? Because they're trying to deceive you to create a grandiose appearance of themselves. When in reality, none of that is true. Why not just say, let's go to the gym, uh, the owner's nice, but they have to pretend that they're friends with this person. It's a manipulation tactic. When someone is trying to deceive you, it is on purpose. At the end of the day, Amberlynn, I'm going to tell you this. You have no proof. The words, you have no proof, proves to me that you've lied about it. Because if somebody accuses you of something outrageous, the first thing to say is you have no proof. Yeah, because she knows that nobody like videotaped her there or something like that. However, I will leave you off on this. She's now accused this person of being a great liar and of trying to manipulate and trying to do dramatic things for, for what? This person didn't monetize their video. They don't have a video. They wrote, I guess, in a Reddit post. Are you kidding me? They wrote a Reddit post that means that they're trying to capitalize off of your drama for anonymous drama and views. No, if they really wanted to really, you know, do something big. They would make a video. I really hope this person makes a video. By the way, if that person is listening, there's ways that you could make an anonymous video. There's um, certain voice programs. Make a video, expose her. I think, honestly, my opinion, it would be great to have more people come forward. Uh, like I said, a part of the story could be true. Maybe she danced, but... I think in general, she's lying. I don't think that she was a choreographer that choreographed numerous talent shows, which won her the talent show every single time. Do you believe that? What do you guys think? It doesn't really matter what I believe. I'm just here to lay out the story, tell you my opinions, okay? What do you think? Please leave it in the comments down below. I want to thank you so very much for watching today. I appreciate your time. You taking the time out of your day to watch. Do you think Amberlynn Reed was a choreographer that won all the talent competitions? Let me know. Uh, there's a video up here popping up. It's on a similar topic. Go and watch it if you'd like. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Be a friend. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.